Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing out there? We're here at South Beach Studios with the one and only Gully God, Mr. Mavado. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine. What's up? I'm nice Doll. It's a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, I like diamonds. I like the diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we like the diamonds. <laughs> Um, ladies and gentlemen, we really want to give you a great congratulations from Juice Report and myself yeah. for crossing over to We The Best Records. Yeah. Tell me about that. How is that going? It's beautiful, huh? It's a good little feel, yeah, right? It's beautiful. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a great look for, for Gully God, you know, it, it's, it's a great look for, for my industry, for even a dance hall in, in, in the industry, you know what I'm saying, in, in general. So, you know, it's just, it's just all good. It's We The Best. Ah. Yeah, I'm and they got one of the best. Yeah. The best hotel Jamaica. I'm the best. Kingston, <laughs> Jamaica, finest. Yeah. So. Being that you crossed over, I know that you still do reggae. You're up here for reggae. Yeah. Um, does that mean that you'll be working with American artists and Jamaican artists at the same time? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I just um, I was supposed to do some work. Me and Dave Kelly yesterday in the studio, but because I, I got different engagements, so. You know, they just gotta get some things out of the way. So I'm, uh, I'm in the studio with DJ Kelly, you know, working on my new album. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And Dave Kelly will be there too, you know, working on the new album. And, and, and also that Seiko and even Steve McGregor, you know what I'm saying? The genius. Yeah, so you know, I'm, I'm also bringing the dance style music to the hip hop side, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we really like because we don't get a lot of that. So you're really putting us on the map, so we really thank you for that. Um, <laughs> DJ Khaled, hit maker. Yeah. He gets the work done, he gets the job done. We're talking hits after hits. Yeah. Um, do you have any music coming up with him? Any collabs with Drake? Yeah, well, um, Drake would be, would be definitely helping, help working on my, my new album. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's my friend. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I got this new single out you now, the Survivor song. Very and, strong song. Yeah, with me and me and Aiken. I mean, that's just for the street. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I, I got this emergency song out, me and Aiken. You know, we just shoot a video for it the other day. We got like probably probably 20, 20 million views by now. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it's going great. Okay. What's he doing big things over here as far as the emergency song? What made you really hop on that and say, you know what, that's something that I can... <laughs> Loyalty is a big thing for you. Yeah, definitely. Would you call yourself a family-oriented person? Same. Are you family-oriented? Yeah. Big part of your family? Yeah. Now, I have to ask you something. Okay, it's a death before dishonor. And being that it's a death before dishonor, um, do you find yourself having a lot of close friends working with you? Yeah, I always got my close friends working with me. I even got my close friends right now. One of my close, my most closest friends right now in this studio, I'm, I'm doing my interview. You know, that's Junior's kid. And he's keeping this big show on you know, Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Is this what you were yeah, talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So Ladies and gentlemen, check that out. big show Sunday. You know what I mean? Liquid launch. You know what I'm saying? So, so that man. I'm a Mom, survivor. Yeah, I'm, I'm a survivor. I've been through so much things and I'm still here. And we see that that's something that we know. Speaking of surviving, um, I want to touch back to an incident that happened last year. As far as Jamaica, you had an incident regarding the police, regarding them trying to do some things that a lot of people weren't happy about. Yeah, you try to assassinate me, right? Now, why would they even think of trying to come close 
to doing something like that. Why were you such a target? There's so many reggae artists out there. There's so many people in Jamaica that. Yeah, well, I mean, I've been I've been going through all of that for like so many years now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm not, but this is like one of the closest, you know, they ever get to me. You know what I'm saying? I saw even at times when I'm when I'm out there in in, in, the, in the street, I gotta have my friends beside me. You know what I'm saying? Because anything can happen, you know? And then um when I when I when when I stand up and I see my friend stand in front of me and, and took a bullet for me, then I know this is like very serious, you know? This is beyond And Joe the beyond. far beyond being you know an artist. Yeah, it's, it's all about envy. You know what I'm saying? It's all about grudge, you know? Because remember, we're, we're from the ghetto, we're from nothing to something. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and whenever they see people like us, you know what I'm saying? They they're seeing, successful. Yeah, they're seeing someone that comes from nothing to something. You know what I mean? And they don't want to see that. You know, they, they, they think I've, I should have been in jail by now or I should have dead by now or something. You know, so it's just. It's just a, a personal, a very personal vendetta. So how do you think they're feeling now, <laughs> being that you're the number one talked about artist, first of all, let's get that across the board. We have your songs all over Miami, Fort Lauderdale, the whole Florida, going across the United States, past international. Yeah. You're big. Yeah. And for you to be on TV all day, every day, in their ear all day, every day, do you think that's going to make it even a more it's gonna make it worse, but I'm a survivor. Mm. You know what I'm saying I'm always, I'm always, I'm always fighting, you know, the struggle, you know. I got so many friends that lose their life, you know what I mean, over nothing. You know, I mean, people don't really know the fullness of my life. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, people just on the outside looking in, you know, but I'm, on, but I'm on the inside looking out. Clearly. <laughs> yeah. Since you started music, let's touch a little further back in your childhood. Um, what made you say, you know, I'm have a voice, have a voice, and I can do something with it? What made you really push yourself to go out there and say, I'm going to be a reggae artist? I'm all, well, I've always been loving music. You know, my grandma used to take me to church with her. You know, mm. so I used to sing within the church. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why we hear some gospel in some of your yeah. songs. Yeah, I used to sing within the church, but as as I said, you know, we're from the the ghetto. You know, we're from the garrison. You know what I'm saying? So being around my friends like 90% of my life, mm -hmm. every day, all day, every hour, and the hour. You know, we leave school, we come home from school, we group up on the corner, we, we make noise and you know, we DJ and people pass and say, yo, you know, come off of the corner and we bag a noise. <laughs> you know, but. Kids we, being kids at that yeah, time. Yeah, you know, we just love it. So I just grow with the music within, you know what I'm saying? So I'm always fighting for my career and I, I'm, I'm always know that. One of these days, I'm, I'm going to be one of Jamaica's most talk about artists, or the most sorted out artists, or one of Jamaica's biggest artists. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm definitely working towards it. I mean, even now, I just feel like I'm still trying, you know? I don't even feel like I'm a does star. Does it feel normal to you? When yeah, you wake up in the morning, do you say, that's stars? I'm, I'm just feeling normal. It doesn't feel anyway. It didn't take a, it didn't soak in yet. I mean, at first, like probably two, three, four, five years ago, you know, I wake up in, in, in the morning and looking at the mirror and I say, yo, I really need it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Look, look in the mirror and I say, yo, I really need this. And when we look outside, we see like crazy cars park up. People just want to get to know me. Or people want to do business with me. Right. right or something, you know, I say, oh, I need it, but after a time, you know, I get, yeah, it I get so in. used to it, yeah, it I becomes get, as if it's nothing, yeah, you know, I get, I get very used to it, so then, 
I'm like, I oh, don't feel like we can't take this to the top, you know? But you are. Top, top, top. Let's go down on you. Pinnacle. <laughs> yeah? I agree with you. Um, one thing we really do want to touch bases on is a lot of your songs you do cover about the goods, the bads, the Delilahs. Mm -hmm. What is a Delilah for you? A lot of people don't know if Delilah is a good girl or Delilah is a bad girl. Delilah is a bad girl. We want to clear that off the board. Delilah is a bad girl. Have you had a couple of Delilahs in your life? So much. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you try to stay far from the Delilah. Yeah. All right. No, I, I want. No, so you can't stay far from the Delilah because they're always there, you know. And I'm coming to camouflage. Yeah. You got love bitches, tug, tug bitches, bug bitches, yeah. Groupies. Yeah, you got groupies. <laughs> you got golden girls with their eyes and your riches, huh? They can't really can't see behind all this. You understand that, though? Yeah. Good <laughs> Very, very, very icy. Um, we want to clear a board. What that means on your support is clear a board is we always grab a little aroma that we just think is ridiculous, but we always make the, the what's, artist what's, just what's throw the it all. You know, uh, we just want to let the people them know say you have a lot of jewelry on right now, right? Yeah. And um, your left hand, you married? That's not it. Confuse it, confusing. Is Movado married? We don't know about David Brooks, but is Movado married? Not as yet. Not as okay. So no one knows what the future may bring. So they have it. So there are girls out there that have a chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you. <laughs> no man trouble. All right, let's do a couple. Oh here. boy. Um, another thing that I really want to talk about your fashion. Who picks out your clothes? Do you go shopping for yourself? Do yeah, you definitely. say, you know, I wear this designer only, I don't wear this? I very picky about I, your style. I pick up my, my own stuff everything. No yeah. stylist. Any specific designers that you are very specific in when it comes really. to wearing? Really. If you find me something that looks good and I like it, let's get it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Up and out the door. So uh, from it looks good. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Once I like it. And I don't like too much things. So. Going around the globe, yeah. touring. Are we going to see some tours from you soon? Definitely. I'm always touring. Always touring? Always. How many current tours that you're trying to work on with any major mainstream artists? Any artists from We the Best? Well, you know, um, you know, no, I'm, I'm signed to we, we the best. So I guess Kelly, which is my, which is the boss, and my management, which is the, the next boss. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they are the ones that get out of that together. Do you get to choose who you get to on tour with? If I want. To. If you want to, you do have that option. Yeah, if I want, to. suppose I'm gonna go on tour with someone that I don't really Say like, want like Britney to. Spears. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Riri. I'm not saying I'm going to punch for Riri. 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 So we see like a little bit of the Barbados going on right now. Um, we have a quick little game that we like to play. It's called Juice That. I don't play games though. <laughs> Alright, well maybe it's not a game. You can tell me a little bit about yourself by finishing my sentence. You just can't live without what? Say again? What can't you live without? I can't live without my friends and my family. And one of your goals for the next five years will be? Well, I mean, sky is the limit, you know? And I, I got so many goals in life. So we have a lot of things coming up from you. Alright, we're looking forward. Definitely. We're waiting. I'm waiting. Alright, I see you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Movado. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna go get some lunch, right? You buy me dinner? Yes, <laughs>